So firstly, sorry to all of you if the audio is really bad or if you can hear a lot of birds doing their thing at this time. But anyways, secondly, congrats to all of you for completing more than one week of the lockdown. And it's not enough if we have a roof over our heads, we have a new problem right now. So if you're stuck at home like me, you belong to either of these two categories. Firstly, those who are really bored with not much to entertain themselves with. And secondly, those with too many choices of entertainment and content and not knowing what to choose from. And no matter what category you belong to, in this video, I'm going to talk about a few simple ways to effectively consume content during the lockdown. So let's talk about movies first. Number one, pick a great director and watch all of his or her movies. So I guess one week before the lockdown, I decided that I'm going to start watching Japanese director Akira Kurosawa's movies one by one. And just a few days back, I saw an interview of Anurag Kashyap with Rajiv Masanth where he talked about pretty much doing the same thing, doing a director's retrospective. Now, if you ask me what a retrospective means, in this context, it means to pick a filmmaker and watch his or her body of work over time. In this way, you get to see some great films of the past and also learn a lot about filmmaking, especially if you observe a filmmaker's work and how it has evolved over time. Now, why else should you do this? Normally, before the lockdown, we used to run to the theater every Friday to catch the latest movie that's running or check out the streaming platforms for the latest movie that's released online. We're always used to running behind the latest or the newest thing that's come. And in that process, we've missed out on a lot of great work. And now is the perfect time to sit back, relax, enjoy some work of the past and maybe learn a little more. Some of the directors I personally want to watch, apart from Akira Kurosawa, are Alfred Hitchcock, Abbas Kiarostami, Jafar Panahi, Federico Fellini and Sergio Leone. And depending on how much time I have, I'm going to watch their work one by one. And there are so many international directors that you can pick and watch or even some of our own Indian filmmakers like Satyajit Ray, Adur Gopalakrishnan, K. Balachandar and so many more other directors. So just pick one director first and start watching. Number two, take a web series approach to watching older films. Now we have to understand that we live in a world where TikTok exists and even our films nowadays are really fast paced with a lot of cuts and much shorter in duration. Most of our older films may have a slightly slow pace with not many cuts and long takes driven by mainly conversation and much longer in duration. But that shouldn't stop you from watching them. So when Irishman released on Netflix, a lot of people complained about its duration, which was about three and a half hours. But that doesn't mean you miss such an amazing film, right? And shortly after Irishman released, someone released a cheat sheet online to watch Irishman like a mini series of four episodes of 45 minutes of runtime each. And while Nama Bharadwaj Rangan and other pure cinephiles may get angry with this, but like they say in The Irishman, it is what it is. We have to do what we have to do and find newer ways to be entertained in this fast-paced world without missing some great work of the past. This is how I watched Ayyappunam Koshiyam on Prime Video and this is also how I'm watching Kurosawa's Seven Samurai. I watched 30 to 40 minutes, go and do some work while collecting my thoughts about the film, watch another half an hour, go and do some work and I keep repeating this process until I finish the film. And I know it may seem wrong, but I think it's an interesting activity and it also gets the work done. And I think Indian films also have an interval for the same reason. You watch the film up to one point, you get out, collect your snacks, talk to your friends about what happened during the first half, get prepared for the second half and come back to your seats and let the rest of the story unfold. Now, speaking of web series, my third tip is to binge on the greatest but not necessarily latest shows. This was another thing that Anurag Kashyap suggested. I think it started with Game of Thrones when every Monday, everyone would hurry and just want to watch the latest episode and then spoil it for everyone else. And while we have some amazing shows today, like I said in the first point, we're always running behind watching what is latest, finishing the latest episode or finishing the entire season in one go and then forgetting it soon after. So. We do this because of this disorder called FOMO or the fear of missing out. And in this process, we miss out on some 
amazing shows probably the greatest shows ever made from the period of the late 90s to the early 2000s i don't know if you've heard of these shows but if you haven't please take a note of them go check their imdb ratings or their reviews or whatever you want to check and you'll know that these are some of the greatest shows ever made so the shows i'm talking about are death note which is one of the best animes ever the office probably the funniest and most well written comedy show according to me entourage which is an ultimate time pass show about friendship in the glamorous world of hollywood mad men a show with the best production design ever and also a wonderful storyline lost the best survival drama ever written breaking bad and i don't need to tell you why the show is awesome and finally the best show ever created in my opinion and a show that not many people really talk about this show is called the wire I don't care if you watch anything else but please go and watch the wire it's streaming on Hotstar watch it till the end and you will thank me later number 4 listen to podcasts while doing really boring or mundane tasks one positive effect of this lockdown for all of us including me is that we've started doing a lot of tasks ourselves like i've personally started cooking and washing the dishes and cleaning and doing all of this has given me kind of a reality check and also a new found respect for all of those people who used to do this work for me earlier and it's also made me a lot more independent than how i used to be but at the same time some of these tasks are really boring and i need to find some way to keep myself entertained and while doing all of these tasks obviously i can't watch a movie or a tv show so the next best thing to do during this time is to listen to podcasts for those who don't know what a podcast is a podcast is any kind of audio content it could be someone telling you stories it could be conversations in the form of interviews or it could be a famous personality talking about his or her own life podcasts have really grown in popularity over the last few years and there is a podcast today for any genre that you enjoy So while you're doing your boring task pick a podcast of the genre you like on any free audio platform like Spotify or Savan or so many other apps where you can find audio content for free so in this process while you're doing a boring task you can learn about something new or just listen to someone talk and give you company some of my favorite podcasts are The Seen and the Unseen by Amit Verma which is about economics and politics and behavioral science Simple Ken by stand up comedian Kenny Sebastian where he basically talks talks about his own life and his own thoughts it's really funny it's really therapeutic and if you like films a lot i'd suggest you listen to podcasts like film spotting real blend the rewatchables and the other banana you'll see films in a whole new perspective after you start listening to these number 5 is to create a watch list now if you need any kind of recommendations for movies or tv shows or documentaries or podcasts you can do three things Number 1 subscribe to fully filmy and watch all of our videos i'm serious please number 2 follow fully filmy on instagram where we give out a lot of recommendations that you might probably enjoy and number 3 you can also follow me on instagram where i personally give out my own recommendations especially under this highlight on my profile which says what to watch but when you have so many recommendations pouring in you need some place where you can keep track of these When I see some recommendation from someone I trust, I take out my notebook in which I have a watch list and I fill the recommendations and watch it one by one. And I'd suggest that you also do the same. There are a lot of note-taking apps like Evernote or Google Keep which you can use, but there's nothing like writing in an actual notebook and looking at it a few years later. And for the last tip, I don't know how possible it is for most of you, but number 6 is to read a set number of pages of a book every day to keep your sanity. Whether you have the habit of reading or not take any book that's lying around your house and start reading read a minimum number of pages whether it's just 10 pages or just even one page i have personally found it very relaxing and very therapeutic to read during this time and i have an entire video on my channel on how to start reading please go check it out and i know right now it's not possible to go out and buy books or order books online so just pick up any old book that's lying around your house i'm sure you do trust me it'll help during this time i'm personally reading three books right now the first book is called sapiens which is a very famous book you probably heard of it it's about our species the second book is a fascinating book called rebel sultans by manu pillai it's an amazing book that has some even more amazing stories about all the kings and rulers that existed 
in the south in the deccan empire i think between the 13th and the 16th or 17th century the third book is called the communication book which is a very simple and easy to read book for anyone who wants to improve their communication skills i hope these tips added some kind of value to your day i hope it really helps and if it did please like the video and share the video with as many people as possible and most importantly subscribe to fully film me it took a long time to get to 500k subscribers right now we want to get to 1 million with your help and that's the time we'll celebrate until then see you next time